Hi, Steve Gale here. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, demonstrate how to um, transfer data from Microsoft Access uh, database to uh, MySQL. So locally I've got uh, WAMP server running and um, in this WAMP server I've got uh, using PHP my admin to connect to uh, MySQL on localhost. So if I just have a look at uh, user accounts, you can see here I've got a user account which is default in WAMP, which is the root user, no password or privileges. So what I can do is I can use that to create a new database. So I'll just create a new database and I'll call it Northwind and uh, create. And you can see here I've got my Northwind database and there's no tables in that database. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, um, I'm going here. I've got my Northwind database in Microsoft Access and a whole bunch of tables in here. And I want to transfer some of these tables uh, from um, Access into MySQL. Now, to do that, what I need to do is I need to use the uh, ODBC driver for MySQL and I needed to install that. Now, it was a bit of a process to install. Um, first of all, I had to uh, download it from um, dev.mysql.com and so it's the, um, what, I'm, what I'm downloading is the um, ODBC connector and Microsoft Windows 64-bit. So I downloaded this one and you can see here, this is the X6 MSI installer and um, it has an MD5 hash, which starts with 61 and ends with DEA3. So when I downloaded it, I've already downloaded it. What I did was I then ran, um, I then run uh, CertUtil and um, check the MD5 hash of the thing that I downloaded. And you can see here it starts with 61 and ends with uh, DA3. So it's actually the correct, the correct um, MSI file. Now, when I ran that, I had an issue. And what I found was that it said I needed to install the um, Visual Studio 2019 um, redistributable for C++. And so what I did was I went to this download here and found it, which is the Visual C um, distributable, redistributable, Visual Studio 25 to 2019. So 2019, one I needed. So I installed the, um, the redistributable. And then after I installed that redistributable, um, then I was able to install the, um, the um, ODBC driver. So you can see here, I'm running the ODBC driver here. I've already created one of these, so I can have a look at the configuration of it, but I'll, I'll actually create a new one. So you can see here, it's, it's a data source, MySQL ODBC data source. It's called test MySQL. It's um, connecting to 127.0.0.1, which is localhost on port 3306, which is the default for MySQL. And I'm using the user account of root and the database I'm using is Northwind. So I can test that connection. You can see that that connects okay. So what I'm gonna do, and I've, I've got another one, test to MySQL there as well. So I'll just um, go over to here. Now I'm gonna to go to access and I'll show you how I can actually uh, transfer the tables. So I'll go to the customers table, right click that and um, then go to uh, export ODBC. And this is the table name that it'll create on the uh, remote database, which is MySQL, and uh, which is customers, same name. And I'm gonna choose machine data source and test MySQL. I could make a new one if I wanted to, but I'll hit okay. And you can see here that customers has been exported okay. So if I want to do employees, I'll right click that, um, export uh, ODBC database, I'll export it as the employees table in MySQL using the ODBC connection. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new one. So I'll go new and I'm logged on locally. So as, as just a local user with non-admin, so I've just got to create a user data source, which is what I've been using. So I choose the anti-driver, next, finish, and data source name, I'll call it um, test3 MySQL. Um, TCP 127.0.0.1, port 3306, username is root, and password, no password, and the database is Northwind. Test the connection, it's all good. Okay, and okay again. And you can see here we've, employed, we've exp successfully exported employees. So I'll close that. 
So I'll just grab orders as well. Um, export, ADBC, okay. Machine data source, you can use any one of these. I'll just use this one, okay. So now it was okay. So now I'll do product, export, ADBC, products, machine data source, one of those data sources that I've created. And I've got products. And um, before we go any further, I probably just need categories as well. Before we go through, let's just check that it's all working okay. So the way I do that is I go to um, my database, which I've created. Now you can see here that I've got four tables now. So I've got the customers table, the employees table, the orders table, and the products table. So if I have a look at the customers table, you can see it's brought all the data over with it. So that's exactly what I wanted to achieve. So I've, what have I got? I've got customers, employees, orders, and products. I'll just have a look and see if I need anything for. I've got customers, employees, orders, products. I might grab order details. So I'll export that as well. as order details, choose my data source. Okay. And one more, I'll get categories. I'm not sure if I need categories, but let's just um, export that one as well. ADBC, categories, okay. Machine data source, this one. You can use any of those three because they're all the same. Okay, and close and we're done. So let's just finally go back and um, do a refresh on the database. And you can see here, we've also got categories and there's our categories. And um, if I go back to the database, we've also got um, order details. So we've got order details here as well. Okay, so that in summary, that's um, using, um, using the um, ODBC data source, which I've got here. And you can see here if I, if I um, if I wanted to create one, I could using the uh, ODBC data source administrator. So I was using a user data source, but I can also create a system data source just by saying add, um, ANSI driver, finish, data source name, test four, my SQL, uh, TCP IP server 127.0.0.1. If you wanted to do a remote database, you could. You just make, have to make sure that the firewall settings, both on the um, outgoing and the incoming, were set up for to enable connections on port 3306. Username root or wh whoever, depending if it's a different database. Password, no password. Database here, Northwind. Test. Okay, so I can use, I can either set up a user data source or a system data source using the ODBC uh, data source administrator. But I was able also, I dem also demonstrated doing that using, using directly from access. Okay, so just a final thing was um, this, um, this site here sort of gives you some general ideas of how to do it, which has sort of helped me along the way, exporting access data to MySQL. So that's um, documentation from, um, from uh, Oracle on doing the export. All right, thanks very much for watching.